The main colony's devs have been working hard again and have brought us a brand new update to the mod, which we're going to have a look at today. Introducing the newest build to the mod, the Nethermine, which with it comes a new worker, the Netherminer, who will travel through into the nether and bring you back any materials that they collect from it. So I guess that means that it was a bit pointless of me making a colony down here then. Jokes aside, I am interested in seeing this new building and what the miner can actually bring back for us. But before we can unlock the nether miner, we will first need to research it. Which we can do through the technology tab and then scrolling down to this research here for open the nether. But before we can even do that, we will need the more scrolls research, which will require an enchanter's tower to be at least tier 3. We will also require an ancient tome to unlock this, which we get from raids, and I'm pretty sure that we already have a few of them within our warehouse. And we do have one inside our warehouse, which is grand, and here it is. So we will need to get our enchanter's tower up to tier 3 next, but not to worry, as I've already set Ava to do that for us. Just a few more pieces of stained glass in for it, and then we'll have it. So while she does that for us, I'm going to make up some of these nether mines then. And it looks a fairly simple structure at tier 1, just unfortunately it only has a wooden style to it. But at tier 5, then we're starting to talk a bit. This definitely looks like a building that would fit very nicely in Hell, which I'm interested in seeing them work down there in Hell as well. Oh, I hate the druids. But yes, I think we will find us building a home around here somewhere, probably quite close to our guards tower, just in case any nasty comes out from it. But I would also like to place one in hell as well, just to see what's going to happen. I'm thinking about placing it here, it's close enough to our other nether portal that they should both link up, so why not? We will place down the building just now, but we can't unlock it until we do get up our enchanter's hut to tier 3. Which reminds me, I don't think hell has an enchanter's hut whatsoever. Looking down the building list here, I do not see the Enchanter's Tower. So we will need to make one up here, which is going to require an enchanting table that our mechanic knows how to make. In fact, we already have one inside our storage. So they will bring that over for me, and then we can place down the Enchanter's Tower. I'm still not really sure what type of building the Enchanter's Tower counts as, or what district it would be better placed in. I am probably just going to find it a home close to our university, but let's see what the building actually looks like. This is a warped themed uh, tier 1, which is as boring as it looks, but at tier 5, it's still pretty boring. Especially whenever you compare it to Heaven's beautiful one, but yep, let's find us a home then. I think that will do there, just beside our builder's hut up here, so yes, let's go ahead with that. And Eliza is our builder for this area, so we will get her coming out here, and she can make this for us. Whilst I'm here then, I'm also going to find a home for Hell's own library. This is it at tier 1, and this is it at tier 5. It's another one of these builds that it doesn't matter which way it faces. So I think we will just plop this down right here. Good stuff. Right, what are our builders getting up to then? And how can we get Eliza away from doing whatever she is at the moment? And then moving on to doing the Enchanter's Tower. She is upgrading a citizen's house to tier 4 at the moment, which is important, but I can't be bothered getting any blaze rods. So let's cancel that, and we'll bring her back over, so that she picks up the Enchanter's Hut next instead. Um, Eliza? Hello? That's a lot more like it. 
And I think I will just very quickly assist you here, just before you do fall all the way down there. Although you'll land on the florist, so it might be a fairly okay landing. Back over in heaven, we are not making too much progress with this enchanter here. So I think I may need to go be an errand boy, just getting some glass for them at the moment. But very quickly, whilst I do, I see that Elia is nearly completed our mystical pagoda to tier 3, which will be nice. Cyrus has picked up a new villager house just as decoration over in our civic district. Andy is upgrading a guard's tower, and so is Luella. Good stuff guys, always keeping busy, that's what I like to see. Jerry, 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 do you have some glass for me? I don't care if you've not slept. You do have a few pieces here, but nothing that I need at the moment. That's because it will be the dyer who will make those for them, so I need to go poke him for a bit and see why he's not doing it. He's certainly got a lot of interesting items in here. Holy crap, that's a lot of wool. But we don't need wool here, we need glass, so Jedediah, get your finger out and stop wandering about. To be fair, it might be because Ava hasn't yet requested any of that glass to be made. I'm here a second pal. Nothing on the open requests. But then again, she does have a pretty stupid place to be going to just make this. And we have a raid from the North East. That's okay. I've just seen that Ava has started requesting in some pink stained glass. So I'll go teach that to the dyer first, and then we'll take on the raid. That is actually from our civic district, so I will need to go over there and assist just in case they take out any of our citizens. Our tier 3 bathhouse sure is nice at night, and there are some raiders for us. Could you not? And I suppose this gives me an opportunity to show what I've been getting up to over in this district then, which we now have some oak slabs put down. Oh, there's an ancient book, that's handy. And our library over here now has some proper stairs going up to it. So this whole area is really going to start coming together. We will need to place down the school, and I think that's pretty much going to be the educational district then more or less done. Just maybe need to get quite a bit more lighting around the place by the looks of it. A lot of mobs spawning in. Guys, honestly, I'm so used to the nasty buggers from RL Craft that you definitely do not pose a challenge anymore. And just like that, that's the raid now done. But we got an ancient tome out of it, so that's going to be both of our upgrades now. That's pretty nice. Back over in hell, we have Jose upgrading our farmer to tier 4 at the moment. Prudence. We have Briggs upgrading our concrete mixer's hut to tier 3. Just one more item in and that'll be done. Eliza, of course, is making up her enchanter's hut. Samir has nearly upgraded another graveyard. He's pretty much upgraded all of these to tier 4 by himself. And finally, Dean is upgrading our blacksmith to tier 4 as well. Which, there's a few items here, but nothing that I'm seeing that I'll need to get for him. And with nothing on our open requests, then I have a bit of time to myself to maybe find us nether miner a home. I think I'm going to place it just behind our actual miner, just very nicely floating on top of some lava. That looks good enough to me. Right then chaps, I've now done everything that I need to in order for us to get this nether miner. So we are really just kind of waiting on you guys. Ava seems to pretty much have everything that she requires for this upgrade now. We are about 90% done with it. And we're making some okay progress. I really need to fix how we get up to this. Your place is looking really nice inside, Azil. Nice teleport there, Ava. Yes, I really quite like how this is starting to turn out. But to be honest with you, 
it's more just the flower glass work at the top that I'm interested in, seeing as this is definitely the focal point of this building. And that's it now done. Nice work there, Ava. Right, let's go get this scrolls research. Which we now have everything for it, so we'll go for that. And I also noticed that our university here is still only at tier 3, so not quite sure why Ava didn't finish upgrading this first. Oh well, let's head over to Hell and help them out with their enchanter, which we're making slow progress with it. Very, very slow progress with it. But at least that's now it up at tier 1. And we'll get you straight back out here, Eliza, and you will upgrade this to tier 2 next. And this is a fairly simple build here as well, not too many items required for it. So it really shouldn't take her too long before she gets us up to tier 2 next. Hello Ekrin, our new vampire. I'm assuming you will want me to set your target to go harvest. Go bother the florist. He's bloody useless anyway. And that's Briggs just upgraded our concrete mixer to tier 3. Nicely done, son. I'll get you back out here and you can upgrade this to tier 4 next. Well, it was a fairly straightforward build, but that's it now up to tier 2 as well. So Eliza, guess what you're doing next? A bit more complicated this one, but nothing here that they don't already all know how to get. So it once again really won't take that long before they get this up to tier 3. Don't you be doing it Prudence. Whilst we were busy in hell there, Heaven had got its finger out and had managed to get us the more scrolls research. So our enchanter can now learn scroll recipes to locate workers and summon guards. Which we can look into I suppose, but really, we just want this open in nether research so that we can get the nether mine. So let's do it. So here is a list of scrolls that our enchanter can now make for us. Which we do have a few different types here and what I think I'm going to do is just get you to make me a few of them just so that I can see what they actually do. And just as I was making a stash to request some of them, our researchers have already unraveled the mystery of the nether mine. Nice one guys, but I still want these scrolls. And it's a post box I need, not a stash. Isn't that right, Azil? That's absolutely right. But I've just seen that Cyrus has finished off our building decoration, so instead of him going away to do another one, I'm going to get him to build our nether mine. So sorry Cyrus, whatever you are doing, you're now going to stop. We want to see what this new build is going to do. He's now picked up that work order, good stuff Cyrus, so while you get on with that, I'm going to go check on Hell's Enchanter, which is 95% complete. Good stuff Eliza. And that is it, now tier 3. Brilliant. Let's go get this research. Because Hell's University is at tier 4, it does have some more workers inside of it, which should mean then that any researches that they do should be being done a lot quicker. We are nearly halfway done with this already and I've just put it on. In fact, every time that I come back to it, the little progress bar has moved on a little bit further. So we're on the first L at the moment and if I come out of it and then we go back into it, scroll down, you can see that this is happening pretty much in real time here, so that upgrade is going to be done very very shortly. Yep, that is done already. I don't even think that was a minute that I had to wait there. So all we need now is the nether rack, which they sure are taking their sweet time about. But Eliza had some spare, so let's come back into this and let's also get this upgrade for hell as well. I'm going to head out and check on Cyrus's progress with his build and the time that we come back, hopefully that research will be complete here. It is a tier 1 build and Cyrus is a tier 4 builder so is making this at lightning speed at the moment. Good stuff Cyrus. 
We are over 50% complete with it and he has everything here that he requires. These are builds, upgrades and researches that are happening this fast at tier 4. Can you imagine how fast they're going to be whenever we finally get tier 5? I wonder if our enchanter has made those scrolls yet. Not yet, but that's a courier just delivered something to them. May have also put something in the post box. Nope. Although he has made us a few ultra safe colony teleports, which I'm taking one out because I want to see what this is going to do. Right then, instant death coming up. We need to register a scroll at our town hall first, which we have now done. So let's use it. I assume we're just going to teleport back here. Yep. Well, that was pointless, but I suppose those scrolls could come in handy. But that is Cyrus just finished with her nether miner. All right then. So this is a tier one nether miner and we do have a worker inside of it. We have No, who I'm going to recall. And let's have a look at you, chap. Why? Oh, really like the getup. And you are looking for some items at the moment. A lot of armor, by the looks of it. Cobblestone, torches, ladders, axes. Quite a lot of things, actually. Okay. That's fine. I will allow our delivery system to get you those items. So inside his custom recipes, I'm going to assume that this top one here is maybe a list of items that he may bring back. So things like ender pearls, blaze rods, golden ingots, stuff like that. Blaze rods in particular would be very, very handy. We can select a whole different host of foods for him here as well. Everything is set on by default, so I'll just allow our delivery system to get him whatever he wants. And that pretty much looks like it for the moment. Okay then, well I will let our delivery system get you stuff son. Let's go see how hell is getting on. We are just over halfway done with the research, but again it's going up pretty quickly in real time. So I will stick about hell just until we do get it. And that's the researchers just unraveled the mystery there. So let's get a builder out here and make this building. Samir, you're first on the list, so you're probably closest, so you'll do. Right then, no, how are we getting on? Have you been getting in these items that you need? They seem to be giving him some carrots for this trip. Um, good luck, son. I can't remember what I first took in with me to the nether, but it sure as hell wasn't carrots. That's our delivery system, now brought him the golden items he's going to require, which is probably a good thing, especially if you spawn near some piglins. So he's now just asking for a pickaxe, and then he'll have everything. And that may be it there. Okay, so he's now on the move. He's putting things into his stash. But at what point are you going to light the portal? Already done, and he's off. Goodbye, no. Well, because of another mod that I have on, I can actually see that no is just in front of us here, but invisible. So I'm not sure if this is more of a rabbit hole type thing, or if he has actually gone through into the nether. I'm going to assume not, but just to double check, let's head through and see where we come out. Uh, we are in the swineherder's hut. Whoops. I was really hoping that that portal would link up with that one there, but... Oh well. I have seen that Samir has started the nether miner down here. So I will also help him out and get that up and running ASAP. Well, that was short lived. I think I'll get Briggs out instead and he can make this for us. And I'll pop back over to heaven just to see if Noah has returned. Which he has by the looks of it. That's good. Right. What materials have you brought us back? 
I think he brought us back some pigs from hell. So in his inventory, he has some eggs, gravel, soul sand, netherrack, and a golden nugget, alongside six raw pork chops. He is requesting a lot of these items again to be brought to him, so he must be planning another trip. If I get you better gear, let's say diamond, and maybe something a bit more edible than carrots, Will you then bring back better materials this time around? There is really only one way to find that out. Alright then, no. I have got some better tools and items here for you. Appreciate it, Elliot, but I've got this covered at the moment. So let's swap out all of your golden items here for these diamond ones. I forgot about a shovel. I will bring you one over in a second. And an axe. And here. Take some pork chops and I'll take these carrots. I'll be back in a second with an axe and a shovel. He is requesting an axe and a pickaxe to be made for him at the moment. In fact, a few things here. And that is because he only has a tier 1 minor hut. So let's start upgrading this building here so that you can get better gear and get his better goodies in return. Because this upgrade is only tier 2, it's not that complicated to do. We will just need to teach some recipes on how to make these magenta clay, oak shingles and purple ones. And that's them now being taught. There are a few other requests here for Andy, but I will deal with that after we go and check on Hell's progress. Well, Briggs is sick at the moment, so we have Luca out here, and he is constructing this instead, which really hasn't taken him that long to do at all, so that's it now up. And we have a worker for it, we have Vera, who is here. I really, really do like this get-up. Right, hopefully Hell will give you everything you require, I'm going to go back to heaven quickly and see how they're getting on with their upgrade. Which I think Cyrus may have just finished it there. That's a message up for it, so let's pop through and double check. I would definitely say so. Good job Cyrus. Although straight back out here Cyrus and upgrade this to tier 3 next. This upgrade is definitely calling for a lot of different nether items now. A Colony Flag Banner is an item made by our Fletcher Hut, just two pieces of wool and a building tool. Easy enough done. Right, let's go teach some recipes. And Heaven will need a few crimson stems, so we'll fire off a few of them. Right, how are we getting on here? She has everything she requires, so she's popping through the nether portal right now. We will see what she brings back then. Also out of curiosity, where will this portal take us to? Just another boring old cave system. Vera, Vera seems to have returned, so what did you bring back with you? Gravel, soul soil, soul sand, netherrack and nether quartz. Very nicely done then Vera. So we will upgrade your build to the next tier and then hopefully one day you or more likely someone who will take your place whenever you're inevitably killed to a mob will then be able to head out and bring us back some blaze rods. But let's head back over to heaven and see how we're getting on with their tier 3 building and hopefully that will be enough so that he can wear this diamond armors that we gave him. Well, the upgrade is in full swing at the moment, and Cyrus is doing a great job as per usual. So I'll just let him complete that, and once again I've got a few requests that I'll need to sort. Well, I just missed it, but Cyrus just finished up our tier 3 nether miner. However, no inside of it is still requesting some other gear, and can't yet use a diamond one. So Cyrus is straight back out here and we will upgrade this to tier 4 and see if he can then wear it. Otherwise we may need to wait on this becoming tier 5 before we can see him wearing the diamond. It's pretty much the same story for this upgrade, just the addition of prismarine items but 
nothing too difficult here. So I'll see you guys in a bit, just whenever Cyrus upgrades this to tier 4. And just like that, there it's complete. Right, can you wear the diamond? Well, the answer seems to be yes. So he's now went away into the nether with full diamond armor and weaponry. And I have this worker where are you scroll, which I can use on that. I think this scroll failed. We'll try it again. That's better. And look, there he is. So maybe these scrolls from the enchanter may come in handy. And I believe that our great hero has returned. Welcome back, No. What have you brought us this time? Gravel, leather, gunpowder, a ghast tear, and some other netherite goodies. Absolutely fantastic work there, No. And this new building is definitely going to come in handy, especially whenever it comes to getting these more difficult nether type items. So definitely worth your time making one if you don't have your own hell colony.